so much. I don't really understand these squeaky top bobble things. That is a very difficult poem for me. I mean, I started off, I, shout, I was starting off shouting anti-fascist poetry at drunk boneheads, uh, high pattern, and, um, and I thought that was difficult. It was sometimes, but it was a piece of piss uh, compared, to, compared to doing that. And there's another one I'm going to do now, which is uh, much, much shorter. Um, it's about my stepfather, who died about six months before my mum. And uh, again, it's a true story. This may well strike a chord. It's called Never Too Late. My father died when I was 10, and when she dried her tears, mum met you in the choir. She'd known of you for years. I was so pleased when she told me that she would be your wife, and I looked forward happily to a new man in my life. But you were the classical singer who thought rock and roll was junk, and I was the bowl of boogie boy who soon became a punk. You were the civil servant for whom everything had its place, and I was the left-wing activist, out there and in your face. Yes, you were the head of the household, and I was the stroppy kid. We wound each other up for sure, we flipped each other's lid, but later we both learned so much, and something new began. And here's a poem I wrote for you, you decent, gentle man. So I went off to my own life, left you a mum to yours. A few words about football, then the sound of closing doors. But the passing of so many years gave us both time to reflect, and slowly, oh so slowly, we forged a new respect. When you were ill the first time and found it hard to walk, I'd take you to the hospital and we would sit and talk. It felt so right and normal and it was such a shame that it had taken all this time, both stubborn, both to blame. Because you were the head of the household and I was the stroppy kid. We wound each other up for sure, we flipped each other's lid. But later we both learned so much and something new began. And here's a poem I wrote for you, you decent, gentle man. When mum came down with Alzheimer's, five years you cooked and cared. And we were around there every day, so many thoughts were shared. Your simple, honest loyalty. The vows you made, you'd keep. No longer the big boss man, me. No longer the black sheep. Then came their day in hospital. The end was near, we knew. You told me, I do love you, John. I said, I love you too. You took my hand and squeezed it. Our eyes were filled with tears. The first time that we'd said that, it took 37 years. Because you were the head of the household and I was the stroppy kid. We wound each other up for sure, we flipped each other's lid. But later, we both learned so much and something new began. And here's a poem I wrote for you, you decent, gentle man. It's never too late, never too late, never too late to say you love someone. And if it wasn't too late for me and John, then it's never too late for anyone. Cheers. <laughs>